Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Zillia 2. Uh, in the last part, uh, we did some more character stories. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that happens. Uh, we caught winds of Spurious Corporation finding the final way marker. So, we gotta go see what's up. See where, wherever that way final way marker is. <clears throat> uh, one thing I want to mention. I'm still having trouble exporting videos out via Twitch. Uh, I tried exporting the last part out, but the same problem that happened before, the window di didn't disappear, so... There might... There, at some point, probably today or tomorrow, you might see an extra part 13 out. So, I will be deleting that whenever, it come, whenever it's popped up on YouTube. Uh, it was supposed to be set to public, so you can just ignore that part when that comes out. Hopefully only one gets uh, Gets exported out So I made sure I only clicked export once this time not like a million times like before with parts 11 and 12 All right See the main story Well done, we've been expecting you. It's a good thing. I started recording it. It's a good thing. I got an external drive too it's not that easy. Something's preventing entry into fractured dimensions. We think it's the spirit Maxwell. <gasps> the CEO will bring you up to speed on all the details in his office. Luger, hey! This is no time for small talk, you guys! All you need to know is Maxwell stopping us from getting the last way marker. Wait, Maxwell? Things are getting interesting. It would seem I need to have a chat with these spurious overseers of yours. We're coming with you. Fine, just hurry up! Oh boy. That's not good. Let's find out what's going on. Is it wise to bring along an entourage like this? With the foreign king and a great spirit? It's... Probably not wise, but I doubt we'd be able to stop them. Probably not. Why, Luger, you're late. I believe you have something to tell us, Mr. Bacor. Yes, something about Maxwell. My goodness, no one said you brought a VIP. Please pardon the intrusion. I am the king of Riza Maxia. Call me Gaius. It's a pleasure, Highness. Beasley Bakur, CEO of the Spurious Corporation. Are you certain you're safe here? What, with the peace accord ratification ceremony fast approaching? Fear not. He is under my protection. Who's she? Trusted. Oh, I'm just a humble spirit. Don't mind me. You're a spirit. I see. What happened? We've detected the fractured dimension that contains the final way marker of Canaan. Unfortunately, there's an obstacle somewhere within the dimensional abyss that's blocking all attempts at entry. I wonder if there's a way to circumvent it. We tried to force our way through, but were ever so rudely evicted. By the power of the four great spirits. The power of the four? Mila! Indeed. Mila Maxwell herself stands between us and the final way marker. It was Kronos who put her there. But escaping from the abyss should be child's play if she has the four with her. Perhaps it's not a matter of wanting to return, but of being unable. <laughs> Regardless, the final way marker is beyond our reach until something is done about Mila Maxwell. I would like to request the help of Riza Maxia with this situation. Very well. We'll look for a solution on our end, too. The solution is clear, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Yes, Rowan? What is it? Oh. El and Mila are still somewhere in the city. Let's go find them. 
Oh boy, that's not good. She can't come back because we have this Mila with us. Where'd they go? Uh... Maybe they went to the park? Let's check out the park. It's the only place I can think of where she would go. Alright, maybe not. Oh, there they are. Let's see Haven. How to bring him back, bring her back. You mean how to bring Maxwell back? That's right. The one who's keeping your Mila from returning is me. How do you know? Because two identical things can't coexist in the prime dimension. This world's not big enough for two Milas. Yours can't return until I'm gone. Mila, wait! The way to bring her back into her rightful dimension is obvious. You have to kill me. <gasps> what? Ixne in front of the kid, yeah? No point hiding it. It's the truth. Yeah, well, it's gonna have to wait. Gaius just called. He got word that Exodus is plotting a whopper of an attack. Don't tell me they're targeting the peace accord ceremony. He wants our help nipping this thing in the bud, so to speak. What do you say? <sighs> Let's go. All right, so uh, we'll lend a hand. We'll lend a hand. What do you mean, we? Am I going to? Come on! Very well. It would hurt less if they just didn't care. Time to hurry then. Gaius is already on his way to where they're holding the ceremony in Marksburg. <laughs> I knew it all along. It's me. Put me in touch with those Exodus lowlifes, would you? Oh, this bitch. Oh, I can't wait to smack him in the face. Exodus just doesn't give up, do they? It's up to us to stop them. Come on, guys. Let's hurry. Uh, there's one thing I want to do before we go forward. We're going to go stop by... Or the palace real quick. There's a couple things I forgot to grab there. I meant to grab off on my own offline All right, so <clears throat> I mean a secret You think that's true no two of the same thing can simultaneously exist in the prime dimension there's no definitive proof either way. True. Luger, what happened at the Epsilla Ruins? Well, Rolo met another Rolo, and the Rolo with the weird voice disappeared. It was like our Rolo just replaced him. Well, there you have it. The other Mila entered the Prime Dimension 
while our Mila was trapped in the dimensional abyss. So she could be the cork in the bottle that's stopping our Mila from getting back in. It all adds up. So if we return the other Mila to her fractured dimension... But we already destroyed her dimension. And besides, once we enter a fractured dimension, we can't get back without destroying it. Why does it have to be like this? Disappeared. I feel like I've seen it before. Uh oh. Let's keep it up. All right. Any one more guy is dumpling. I hope you find something. All right. There's a couple of treasures here. I forgot to grab. I'm gonna grab on my own. There's also a cat in here that I need to grab too. So I'm about to do this now before I totally, totally forget. I didn't really explore. That. It's my fault for not. Thoroughly exploring this place. I'm starting to not explore areas. <laughs> the, only, the only times I'm really exploring is for cat is for looking for cats. Come down here real quick. There you go, guys. Oh, what the fuck? Seriously? I can't change parties? Even though I'm technically in the city? Really? God damn it. All right, there's two cats in here. I already got one, but I didn't realize there was another cat in here. <clears throat> so, I don't know sure which one I've got. So we'll find out. Um, oh wait, maybe there's not, maybe there's not two cats in here. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm reading this wrong. All right, but there's a guy is dumping in here, so uh, let me go to the fourth floor. Palace Center. Come up here, and there's chests waiting for me. Exceed. Guy's dumpling, nice. And a torbalum. Which means I can recall I can recall my kitty cat since I've got all seven and then uh, I can continue hunting down these Good luck. all right let me go report this real quick Oh, that's right, guy. Uh, that's right. No wonder because not, they're not actually in my party. So that's why. Duh. That's why I can't equip them. All right. Now we can go on. I wanted to grab that stuff before I completely, for completely forget. I thought there was two cats in there, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> what sort of horrible scheme have they hatched this time? 
Nothing good. I'll tell you that much. You're here. What's happening? Based on our documents, we're rounding up Exodus agents who slipped into the city. Quietly, of course. Yeah, it'd be bad news if the public found out. If people found out, you could just erase them from history. That's your specialty, right? Mila, take it easy. There a problem? We had a little tiff. We had a little tiff. I'm sure it's nothing to you. You destroy whole worlds. Taking me out is trivial. <laughs> Taking out Maxwell? Everybody stop fighting! The ceremony is about to get started. We've captured most of the Exodus members in the city. Now we just need to guard against attacks from without. Damn it all! They totally used me! Oh, sorry about that, Kitty. Marcus? Huh? Uh, Alvin! Hold up! He a friend of yours? Uh-huh. From back when I ran with Exodus. <gasps> we'll tail him, Gaius. You keep an eye out for suspicious types at the city gate. One final thing. If the Mila we know had to die to fulfill her duty, you should know she wouldn't hesitate for a moment. So what? I don't even know what my duty is anymore. Hey, hurry up, Slowpoke! Oh boy. Why can't they ever make this easy? There he is! Hey, don't get ahead of us! Hey, guy. What's going on? Marcus, buddy. Thought I told you to ditch Exodus and fly right. I... I'm sorry. So you still roll with those guys? Maybe. As what, wimpy cowboy? In what world is this guy a terrorist? Yeah, he's harmless. Just hangs out with the wrong crowd, that's all. Whenever the plan calls for a disposable stooge, he's their guy. Ugh, you're right. I got played as usual. What do you mean? Well, I heard a transmission from the main group. The Exodus guys in town are for show. The real action's out there. Where? On that ship, the ESS Paloon. That's where Chancellor Marcia is. You're ambushing the Chancellor of Olympias? Oh boy, we better tell Gaius about this. It's too late. Exodus agents are on board posing as crew members. They should have struck by now. You dumbasses! Chancellor Marcia is a moderate. She opposed the Otherworld reactor plan. Meanwhile, lots of other politicians are yelling for Olympias to put the screws to Riza Maxia. If you guys take out the Chancellor, the peace process dies with her. I didn't make the damn plan. Look, there's no saving her. Exodus has definitely got the upper hand here. Not for long. They're not wasting the time Mila gave us. What's he doing? I brought Gaius up to speed. That was fast. All right, it's time to board this ship. All right. So we can get Judo and Alvin's affinity up with L1. Or we can just primarily get Jude's affinity up. So Jude gets 100 affinity, Alvin gets 300 for L1, Jude just gets 250 for R1. So why not? Why go for one when you can get for two? I'm coming with you. Are you sure? It looks like we've got a new do-gooder in town. Jude, I could have told you that. Should have piped up. But you know, this won't fix all the problems between Riza Maxia and Olympias. Not by a long shot. I mean, if we stuck our heads in the sand on this, nobody would be the wiser. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. No, I guess I'm not. Can't blame a guy for trying, though, right? Oh, bad Al 
then go to your room! Hey, if you're gonna whine like a spoiled little brat, I'm gonna lecture you like what? That makes a weird kind of sense. All right, Alvin, put on your big boy pants. Marcus, get us a barge, man. Hop to it. What? Why me? And thanks for agreeing to be our decoy while we board the Paloon. Decoy? But I didn't agree to nothing. Well, if you're gonna be like that, might as well hand you to the cops. Wait. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Atta boy. Way to be a team player. Uh, hm. You treat me worse than Exodus does. And those guys are a bunch of terrorists. You need better friends. Hmm. All right. Mila, listen. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm Maxwell. Remember? All right. Finally got the ship. I am all ready and set to go. Exodus goons, it's happening. I'm Marcus with Infiltration. I need to talk to the main squad. Freeze! You're in violation of mission protocols! Wait! Come on, you guys. Just hear me out. Save it for the holding cell. Oh, that didn't go well. This is bad. I thought for sure they'd take the bait. Time for a change of plans. Time for a change of plans. Uh, this one over here is mine. Like hell. Uh, now die. Uh, you gotta keep your head about you, or you'll lose it. So what if I do? Isn't that what you want? No, of course it isn't. What about you, Mila? Is that what you want? Where's the Chancellor? Oh, uh, I know that. She's being held in the Central Hall with her aides. I owe you one, Marcus. You don't seem like a total loser. You should quit doing bad stuff, okay? <laughs> uh, maybe you're right. Oh boy. All right, so apparently this is one of the few missions that's time-based. Oh boy. Clock still runs while you're in battle. Gotta get to Marcia while rescuing as many people as possible. Oh, joy. And that being the case, holy bottle. Pause whenever you need to, so... You just don't give up, do you? You really ought to leave me alone, you know. I'm just kidding. I don't mean that. Will you accept this from me? I want you to have it. Why? Well, I have my reasons is all. <laughs> I said I have my reasons. Go ahead and gape at me all you want. That's all the explanation you're gonna get. What do I get? A salt dancer, huh? All right, so I don't know if it, I don't know if the time progresses when you're in the menus, but uh, all right, take the stairs to the east. All right, let's get these guys patched up. Thank you for saving us. Can't imagine we've been attacked at sea. They're a well-trained group. Please be careful. We'll be sure to hide. Here, take this. Hopefully, it'll prove useful. Thanks, buddies. 
There's gotta be a lot more than, the, than out there injured or things are this bad. What are we supposed to do? I don't want to abandon anyone, but let's get real. We don't have time either. Considering the size of the, sh of the ship the and the time the terrorist incident occurred, it should take about 30 minutes to make it to the rear of the ship. And from the looks of things, I'd say we need to get those who are injured here in about the same time frame. Let's get on it. Gotcha. So the plan is we're going to help those injured and while moving on, head to we're going to hit ourselves, right? Well, you don't need to tell me twice. It's just human decency to help them. But remember, our top priority is to quell the terrorists here. Make sure you got that. Alright. That there are so many people inside you can save. If you take it takes too much time, you may be too late to save some people. After you aim for 30 minutes as a maximum time frame as you make your way through the ship and rescue as many. Another time will pass when moving around, finding battles. Okay, so it is equipped now. Time will not pass while the unit skits or the location map. Okay, cool. That works. So there is a timer. I was worried if there was going to be a timer or not. Oh, that's... Uh... Alright, so... <sighs> they even slaughtered the women and children. I'm going to be sick. We can't let L see this. Alright, starboard area one. Um, take the stairs up to the, take the stairs up and then south. She's still breathing. Jude, it's all you. Is it still Mommy, that was scary. Uh, I thought we weren't gonna make it. This is all I can do, but thank you so much. Thank you. All right, from there, backtrack to starboard area too. Hey, not bad. Good luck. Yeah. All right. I doubt it'll take me 30 minutes to go through this, but I just wanted to make sure I get everything. Alright, starboard area 2, go no across the north area and turn left. This one's already done for, we can let's all save all we can. We were attacked. Attacked suddenly, without warning. In an instant, we died. He was my best friend. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. I'm busy. Alright, we got that. And then to the nearby cabin. Oh, fuck. I was kind of avoiding fights. Didn't mean to do Mr. Guard. Job well done. I prefer medium rare. Okay, enough chit chat. We got people to save. All right, um, get that, get the diamond, now head east and cross into the central access way. Nothing in there. Alright, from there, take the top right exit to... Starboard Area 3, run directly east to find another passenger. Paloon is the same model of ship as the Zenithra. 
And here it is, under attack from Exodus. Gotta love the irony. We still got one. Hang in there. You saved me, but alas, my servants. Damn it. Why did this have to happen? Please, save the Prime Minister. My friend's last wish was to have the peace treaty signed. Leave it to me. Alright. What's in here? Shock ward. Exit, cross south side, and exit east for a scene. Watch your step, Mila. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, tell me the truth. Is it difficult for you to call me Mila? Why would it be difficult? You're Mila just as much as she is. Not to you, no. To you, I'm just a double. A counterfeit. I don't think that way. How do you think of me? Uh... All right, so we can have Jude's affinity up by L1 or R1 for Mila's affinity. I don't know who's lacking in what affinity. But I'm curious. I'm what curious say. myself, actually. Seriously, Luger? Yeah. Look, this isn't real versus not real. My Mila and you are two different people. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks for telling me. I get the message. You know what? Of all the Milas, you're my favorite. You haven't even met the other Mila. Course, I never met the other one, so... Are you trying to cheer me up? No, I don't care. I just like your cooking and stuff. That's why I said it. Fair enough. <laughs> when this is all over, I'll make you a big pot of soup. If you're gonna make it anyway, then sign me up. All right. Oh, answer port three, area port you three. Gonna be okay with Mila and Jude? I understand where each of them are coming from. It's a delicate issue. Um. Cross south. Hell's grown pretty attached to Mila, huh? Almost makes me a little. Go south and. Jealous. <laughs> Oops. We've got some serious injuries. We have to save them. We're gonna be okay. Those these nice people came to save us. This is a small t thanks for ha save me. Thanks, buddy. All right. I got an itch. My foot. It's irritating. Pearl. If I am, I finally found you. What do you want from me already? 
Calm down. This guy thinks he's badass taking him on his own. I can do this. Mila. No. Uh -oh. Get back. Mila, are you okay? He blew himself up because of me. Hate is too weak a word to describe Exodus's feelings for Mila. It's her own fault. She didn't finish them off when she had the chance. I mean, I'm she's... glad she didn't at least. Huh? My father is an Olympian. He used to be a member of Exodus. But he fell in love with Ariza Maxian, my mother. Once I was born, he gave up his life as an Exodus agent. Wait, what? Looks like they're on to us. We better move. So does that mean... In my world, I killed Jude and his father when Jude was just a baby? Yeah, that's right. She did wipe out all the exes, didn't she? Alright. So, northeast. Oh shit, my holy bottle wore out. This is why I noticed this game, this, the, the story of this game got pretty dark. This is probably one of the... With Berser... Well, before Berseria, this game got, was pretty dark. Mirror to help, I'll fix you up. Alright, what do I get? Oh, lots of gold, take it. And this fucking lady is gonna interrupt me. Fuck you and your debts. Yeah, I'm mean, trying to rescue people from an exit from a terrorist attack. She's wanting money. All right, for cheese done. Now I need to go somewhere else. All right, northwest. You're looking a little pale. Should we take a break? I'm fine. It's nothing. Pineapple gels. Nightmare helm. Alright. Oh, come on, guy! Sorry about that. Well, this. All right. Go all the way west. All 
Alright. Give me my wisdom ring. Balance blade for Mila. That to you. Comes back to the north side. I don't belong in this world. Mila. Alright. God damn, this layout is like totally different than the Zenithra. I mean, the hallways are similar, but. Alright, take the stairs to the south. Let's keep it up! I hope you find You better run, bitch. All right. Iron leggings. There's nothing in here. Oh. oh, there it is. A sneaky little chest. Oh, this asshole had a gun block my way. Job well done. I prefer me. All right. Give me some gold. All right. Go on here. Did you get hurt? Oh. How would you feel if I killed your daddy? Killed my daddy? My daddy can't die. I'm going to Canaan to save him. Daddy can't. I, I need my daddy. Relax. It's a hypothetical question. It's not real. If it's not real, then why would you ask it? Sorry. <sighs> I guess I'll forgive you this time, but... Don't say weird things like that anymore. I'm sorry. I won't. I used to be the Lord of Spirits. And look at me now. What's wrong with being human? Elle really likes you, you know? How is it that you can say such things with a straight face? Did Julius teach you that? You too, Rolo. Now I know that this is Julius's influence. <laughs> hey, don't go pushing that girl off on me. You're still her guardian. And I expect you to protect her with your life. You hear me? Right. Not that it's any concern of mine, of course. All right.
Well, that's it. Time to move on ahead. All right. The central hall should be just ahead. Yeah. We'll probably have hostages, so prepare yourself. This will be fun. Don't come any closer! <laughs> no one gave you the floor, Madam Chancellor. Rideau! Why are you doing this? Oh, now don't give me that look. I'm here to help you solve your Maxwell problem. What the hell are you talking about? Spirius knows the Calculatrix aren't for summoning Maxwell. Yeah, right, Rideau. And I'm the king of Riza Maxia. Would you still think I was bluffing if I said Spirius was founded by Krisnik, the first human ever to summon Maxwell? <laughs> if only the art weren't so messy. First of all, you need to have a living circuit. <laughs> and the secret ingredient is... A living sacrifice. Damn you! There's no need for you to feign anger, Jude Mathis. You miss Maxwell, don't you? Your beloved wandering spirit. Take this! I see you're quite a hit with the kids, Pony. She's no pony! Mila is Mila! Afraid not. Ow! Don't let go. Just let me go. You kill Al! Don't give up, Mila, no matter what! <laughs> Isn't that rich? You're the one who needs to give up! <sighs> Hang in there! Elle needs you! I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to leave the rest to you. I knew I wouldn't like you. How nice of you to join us, Mila Maxwell. May I borrow that sword from you? Thank you. Huh? 
How nice of you to summon me here. So that's how it is. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the abyss. Alright, this bitch is gonna die. Now this is going to be fun. Just do it for me, you idiot! You two ready? Yeah. We'll wipe that smile away. We're ready to burn! Too bad. Mila! I'll cut it. Shining Singer! Dark Radiant! I just slipped it. Good boy! Dark Radiant! I just slipped it. I just slipped. One moment. Hellstorm. How unfortunate. You shouldn't do that. I'm healed as well. Be gone. Disintegrate. Be gone. Got the frame rate. This guy can keep summoning in hell. How unfortunate. Alright, guy. Not good. Be gone. Be gone. Now it's on. She goes away. Shining singer! Striking bayonet! Not yet! I just slipped. Too bad. I just slipped. I'll cut. Now it's on! Dark projection! Hellstorm! Thank you. I won't forget you. Jude? What is this? Well...
Well, aren't you a strong one, Mila Maxwell? I admit I'm rather impressed. I hope you'll go after the Waymarker with a similar sense of fervor. Shut your mouth. Spare me your indignation. <laughs> Don't you lecture me. You have my thanks. You're here from Spirius, right? The other one... is gone. It's really you. Uh, Mila! I searched everywhere for you. Sorry, Muse. I didn't mean to worry you. Any of you. Uh, I wasn't worried. We knew you'd be okay. It's good to see you again. I wasn't worried about you. There's another Mila, you know, and I'm worried about her. It's a brave thing she did. Madam Chancellor. Because of her and her selflessness, we can proceed with ratifying the peace accord. King Gaius, Prime Minister Rowan. For foiling this assassination attempt, you have my most sincere thanks. You'd have done the same. Given what's occurred, perhaps you'd like to sign the treaty here and now. Harmony between Riza Maxia and Olympias would please me very much. Here on the ship? We've heard that many high-ranking Olympian officials stand against the treaty. Don't you worry. We'll employ this attack as our chance to press the offensive against them. No doubt many of them have ties to Exodus, and if we can't find proof, we'll make some up. Figuratively speaking, of course. Didn't hear what? I was just thinking aloud. But whatever you choose to do with that tidbit is up to you. You're certain, madam? I pay my debts in full, Prime Minister. And besides, if I were too much of a do-gooder, you wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Are we really that easy to read, madam? I so look forward to dancing the diplomacy two-step with you, your highness. Cool. By your signatures, the treaty is ratified. Very good. We've crossed the first bridge, at least. A bridge of mere paper and ink. 
The gap between this deed and the will of the people is not easily traversed. A difficult road still awaits us. Well. Alright, so. Got this, this, this is both the guys' affinity choice. L1 gives you 150 for Gaius. R1 gives you a 400. So we're going with the obvious choice. Are you worried too, Gaius? Who wouldn't be? After all. I'm only human. I have my share of fears and regrets, just like anyone else. In that, we are alike. <laughs> you were a great help to me as well. It's not much, but consider this a small token of my thanks. Oh, just to be clear, this isn't a bribe. Mila, we have little time. You're right. Let's review the situation. Don't call her Mila! Every time I hear it, I want to barf! <laughs> Sweet. My kitty cat's returned. Sweet. Good chase. It's hard stuff for a child to go through. Can't blame her for being upset. I mean, it's, it's not easy. Technically, it's what Mila wanted, but if you want L's affinity choice, you gotta go for L. It was the only way to save you. So it's my fault? She's gone because of me. More than anything, she wanted to keep you safe. How would you know, huh? I just do. She was her own person. But she was still Mila Maxwell. We did sacrifice her. I can't deny it. But, by my sword, I swear to you that the loss of your Mila was not for nothing. I'm just a kid. Get to the point already, would ya? Fair enough. I'll say it more simply then. L. I want to go with you to the land of Canaan. I want you to see what I do there. Sounds like you mean business. You speak of Canaan. What's going on there? The soul purification has reached its limit. In the abyss, I saw it with my own eyes. There are too many fractured dimensions. Canaan is the only realm across all dimensions where the reincarnation process occurs. Thus it stands to reason that the impurity which must be cleansed from all those countless dimensions must be flowing into Canaan. If we do not eradicate those dimensions, the soul purification process will break down. In other words, the fractured dimensions are not only dispersing soul energy, they're also concentrating this impurity. Wonderful. Sounds like either one is enough to destroy the world on its own. What happens if soul purification breaks down? The resulting poisonous miasma will probably overflow. Couldn't the Great Spirit Origin step in and stop that from happening? Only if he thinks humans are worth saving in the first place. 
I think that's the whole point of Origin's trial. So be it. We've no choice but to reach Canaan and pass the Great Spirit's trial for the sake of all humanity. It is clear what wish we have to make to Origin. Destroy the fractured dimensions so this one may live. We have detected that Maxwell is no longer blocking our passage. What kind of orders did Spirius give that Rideau maniac anyway? Did something happen with Director Rideau? <sighs> Just checking. That means we can hightail it to the dimension containing the last way marker, right? Correct. However, right now the dimensional abyss is highly unstable. It will be some time before you can enter the rift with any degree of safety. We'll contact you once we've made our preparations. Selfish bastards. I'm the reason. I unfortunately caused it when I harnessed mana out of the schism to take on a physical body. With the temporal crossroads gone, you merely did what you had to. It's taboo nonetheless. I'm using mana meant for preserving the world to maintain my physical form. Hold on. I can only remain in the human realm for a finite amount of time. Hey, 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 Luger! It's Nova calling to gab about gold again! How's the cash stash? Is the dough rolling in? Are you having a gold rush? <laughs> I get paid by the pun, you know. Not exactly the best oh, time. come on, not even a snicker. Wait, is something wrong? A friend of ours just died. <gasps> I, I had no idea. My boss just told me to give you a little push, so... I'm so sorry. Naturally, it's Rideau. The bitch. We have a bit of time. Can't wait to punch him in the face. We should prepare for our final trip into the breach while we await Farah's call. Mila Maxwell. Huh. Lots of heavy stuff happening. I knew that I'd see you again one day. I thought so too. And I'm pleased to see you looking as well as ever. Not everyone supported my plan to see Olympias with my own eyes and meet the people on its streets. But I'm convinced more than ever that it was the right choice. And gaining you as an ally is a large part of that. This is but a token of my esteem. I want you to have it. What do I get? Body booster, huh? Oh, my controls on battery. We have to hurry to Canaan. The purification process is reaching its limit. Don't push yourself too hard, Mila. As if having to battle Kronos wasn't bad enough. You've spent a great deal of time trapped in the dimensional abyss. And do you think I'll listen when you tell me to take it easy? Ah, well, no, of course not. That is correct. This is no time to falter. And besides, you promised L. Not to mention the other me. You know about the other Mila who was with us? I do. I saw everything. How could you? I thought you were trapped in the dimensional abyss. I was. I tried using the power of the four to return to the prime dimension, but couldn't. Because the other Mila had come to the Prime Dimension. The abyss between dimensions is a void of nothingness, bereft even of the elements. I could only drift through it using the power of the Four to protect myself. While in that coma-like state, I dreamt of Luger, the other Mila, and all of you. It was as if I was journeying right along with you. How is that even possible? I do not know myself. But her conflict and her wish came through quite clearly. Luger. Everyone. I want you to lend your strength to me. Or should I say, to Mila Maxwell. You couldn't stop us from helping even if you tried. Our strength is yours to command. 
Oh boy. Wonderful. Alright, uh, how much money do I need? Fucking 200,000 again. Shit, man. At least it doesn't go up in price. But, uh, I need to make more debt payments! Alright. Um. Now, while I'm just messing around, there's a couple of, uh, mystical skits I can get. So, we're gonna pop over to. Well, we got some episodes there in Triglyph. We got Nia Kara, we got Shondu. That's it. We're gonna pop over to Hamil real quick for some of these skits. Alright. Let's put Elise in there. I want Gaius. Ah, this is nice. This is the sort of place that puts one's mind at ease. All right, guy. I came here for skits. Back to Hamil. Yeah, Hamil. I just made up a Hamil song. Oh god, here we go again. Juicy oranges, forest so green, and tasty apples, mountains gleam. The flavors are as sweet as the water. Clean. Hamil is the village of all of our dreams. That was pretty good. Double platinum all the way. <laughs> what was that? One of <laughs> must be one of uh, Elisa's hobbies, right? Must be one of Elisa's hobbies. Must be. I've caught her humming original songs like that from time to time. She's certainly right to extol the virtues of napples and oranges. <clears throat> uh, Muse? What are you eating? Oranges and napples. They're right over there. You can't just help yourself to them. They're gonna want money for those. Hey, we got ourselves a fruit thief! <laughs> ah, you again! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got new monster info. Only two. You got a lot of gold, though. 100. Holy shit. 150. Uh, 10. Or uh, fucking. 105,000 gold each. Damn. Oh, boy. Um. I think I have X Machina, don't I? Light shroom spores. Do I have those? I don't know if I have those. Uh, what else can I grab? I can complete this. Sweets! Uh, I got plenty of napples. Uh, defeat. I can't do that because I'm still in bronze. Okay. Silver, silver, and more silver. It's the Slenderman! Alright. Might leave clovers. Party time. Cool. All right. So I already made progress in my debt repayments. All right. Um, there's two more skits I want to go see first before I call it quits. Got to go to Triglyph now. But first, looks like I did have that one completed. Um, over there. Let me just, just pop over there real quick. Hey guy, I got your wine. Hey there, Marcus. You doing well these days? If doing well means working my butt into an early grave, then yeah, I'm just doing doing just dandy. Hey now, quit complaining. At least you got a place to lay low and hide out for a while. Yeah, I'd be in jail right now if I didn't court. Court? 
course I'm grateful. I've, you've done so much for me. Hey, now don't start with all that. Just keep your head down and work hard. I know, I know. It's tough breaking the cycle, but I want to, man. I want to work hard and get out of this sort of life one day. It'll take some time, but I'm going to put it all behind me. You'll see. You and me are the same. Yeah, I hear you. We brought something for you, Marcus. It's from Vera at Spiris Corps. You know her? What? <laughs> Vera? I can't believe she finally replied. Replied? Vera here. Did you give him the stuff? Yep. Then please give Marcus the following message for me. No. That's all. Vera out. Huh. No! Marcus, you didn't. I did. I was slow at first sight. I sent her at least one letter a day ever since. All the same, please go out with me, my princess. Bro, bro, bro. What did I tell you? Yeah, yeah, I know. But what can I say? I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm in a, I'm a fool in love. I'm a tortured soul longing for that one connection more powerful than any cosmic force. Head over heels and all that. Give me some of that booze, will you? Just a swig or two. My heart is broken several places. It's a compound fracture. It burns. I need a drink, man. I need a drink. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to give you any booze right now. Come on. Just one swig. You, you can have this cool hat. What the? I don't want your hat, Marcus. You got to keep it together, bud. Well, that explains why Vera sent us to deliver booze. Is he going to be all right? Look, you obviously need some comfort. And frankly, I don't think I'm equipped to comfort you properly. So, here, have some Ex Machina. Just one swig, though. Oh, man, you're the best. Bros for life. All right. He's a little overdramatic, but, uh, whatever. All right. Well, I gotta go to a triglyph anyway, because uh, there's a skit I need to see, so let's go here. Plus, I want to check out my apartment real quick for those bonuses. Let's keep it up. Sweet. This place is done. Alright, next down the list is Fenmont. I'm an item fanatic. Yippee! Good luck! seem unwell. Your Highness, can I ask you something? What's your job? I mean, what does a king do? Hmm. If I had to sum it up in a single line, I'd say it's putting the needs of his people before himself. Does that mean you'd be willing to die to save me? No. A king cannot sacrifice himself for any individual, not you or anyone else. That would be an abdication of duty. And a betrayal of his subjects. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. However, if I could save someone important to me by risking my own life, I would do so without hesitation. But you just said you wouldn't die for someone. What's the difference? In other words, I would do what your Mila did. My Mila. Yes. Although I imagine the Mila I know would have done the same. It made me feel bad. You need to turn your sadness into pride for having been protected. Live a life that will prove to her that you were indeed worth saving. I don't entirely get it, but I think I sort of understand. Thanks, Your Highness. Luger, I was just talking to His Highness about what happened. He sort of helped me through it. Kids probably aren't supposed to bother kings with their problems, huh? <laughs> well, I'm sure he was happy to help. I'm sure he was happy to help. Yeah, I think he was. Even though I'm just a kid, His Highness really tried to help. The kings in storybooks are mostly jerks, but His Highness is different. He's a good king. All right. Goody, I got a 10 gallon hat. My life is complete! Alright. We need to go to Fenmont. Doesn't matter where I go. Yeah. 
This city sure has changed. It feels, I don't know, liberated? The stifling atmosphere is gone now. Stifling? I never realized it felt that way to you. It wasn't just the city. You seem stifled, too. I did? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Jude still seems stiff to me. I'd like to see him get truly liberated. I could use some liberation myself, if you know what I mean. What? Come on, guys, seriously? Hmm. But Jude is nowhere near as stiff as he was when we first met him. Eh, uh, but he could still ease up a little. How can he be free when he's still holding back? Beautifully put. You two come together on the strangest topics. <laughs> they make an amusing pair. I suppose that's just another thing that's changed. Oh, Joy. Wonderful. Good for Jude. Uh, let's see. I need light shroom, spo light shroom spores. How many do I have? I know I have a couple, I think. Uh, hmm. uh maybe, maybe I don't. I could have sworn I had light stream spores at some point. Or maybe I... I... I guess I don't have any? Um... Beautiful feathers... No, looks like I don't have any. Alright, wonderful. So I'll have to do those for, uh... The cat stuff. I have smoke shrooms. Alright. Where's the save point? Come in here, save it, and uh, I'm gonna end it here. So, uh, I'm gonna do some more debt repayments, fight some more elite monsters, do more job bulletin board quests, and uh, pay off more of my debt so I can continue with the story. I'm also. So yeah, oh man, at least I don't have to explore any more areas because we've got pretty much every area unlocked. So, uh, that's one thing I don't have to worry about anymore. But yeah, when we come back, I'll have all that done and we can proceed forward. So, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you then. Later.